Welcome back, fifth graders. This is week two, day two of unit nine. My name is Miss Goff. I teach fifth grade at John Hay Elementary. In the last lesson, you met my dog, Sloopy. Now I'd like you to meet T-Rex, who you can see pictured here. He's a rescue dog who came home with me from a vacation in Orlando, Florida. His interests include chasing birds, visiting the pet store, and enjoying the wind on long car rides. You'll need some materials for our lesson today, including a district packet or just a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil, and a turn and talk partner. If you need to go get any of those things, please pause the video and do that now. Since we're all learning from home, your turn and talk partner will look a little different than it does at school. For example, you might decide to share with someone in your family, a friend, a pet, a pretend friend, or you may pretend to have a conversation with your favorite celebrity. Remember to share your ideas in the language that is most comfortable for you to use at home. In the previous lesson, we listened to a story and practiced sharing our opinions about that story. In this lesson, you will reread a narrative nonfiction story called 12 Seconds from Death. You will form opinions about the story, find evidence in the story that supports your opinion, give reasons for your opinion, read independently for 30 minutes, and finally discuss your opinions respectfully with your partner. In the last lesson, you heard the story 12 Seconds from Death. Turn and talk to your partner. What happened in this story? Welcome back. You might remember that this is a story about three skydivers whose jump almost ends in disaster. You may also remember that the three main characters are Richard Maynard, the man making his first jump, Mike Smith, the instructor strapped to Richard, and Ronnie O'Brien, the instructor paid to videotape Richard's jump. O'Brien leaped backward from the plane to film Maynard and Smith's exit. As the parachute flew from its container, the cord holding it became entangled around Smith's neck. It pulled tight, strangling him, and he quickly lost consciousness. O'Brien had to judge his descent very carefully. If he overshot, he would have little chance of saving the two men. With barely 12 seconds before they hit the ground, O'Brien found the handle and the large main chute billowed out above them. Only when the pair had landed did Maynard realize that something had gone wrong. Remember that a diagram is a picture with labels that help explain an idea. You may want to pause here and look to your packet or look on your screen to review this diagram, which shows you the sequence of events from the beginning to the end of the skydiver's jump. After hearing the story once yesterday, do you think you would recommend this story to someone else? Why or why not? Pause the video here to turn and talk to your partner. Remember that a diagram is a picture with labels that help explain an idea. You may want to pause here and look to your packet or look on your screen to review this diagram, which shows you the sequence of events from the beginning to the end of the skydiver's jump. Welcome back. Now turn to the page in your packet that says my opinions about 12 seconds from death. Or you can just have a piece of paper to make a list of your opinions. Here are the prompts to consider when forming your opinion about 12 seconds from death. Did the story 12 seconds from death hold your interest? Why? 
Were the people or events described in the story interesting? Why? And how did you feel as you listened to this story? Why did you feel that way? Pause the video now to write down your opinions. Welcome back. Now you will read the story once more. You may read silently to yourself or out loud with your partner. While you read, think about the opinions you wrote and look for evidence in the text to support those opinions. For example, if you think a character is brave, look for quotes that show that character acting brave. You should underline or highlight the evidence you find and be prepared to share these out with your partner. If you don't have a copy of the text, you can pause the video on the next two slides to read on your screen. Please pause the video here to listen to the first half of 12 Seconds from Death. Please pause the video here to listen to the second half of 12 Seconds from Death. Welcome back. Now that you have reread the story, you should have a good understanding of the plot and you should also have some opinions about the story and some underlined evidence which supports those opinions. Pause the video here to share your response to these prompts with your partner. What is your opinion about the story? What did you underline in the story that supports your opinion? Also explain how it supports your opinion. And finally, did your opinion of the story change when you reread it? Why or why not? This chart shows examples of how you could support your opinion with evidence from the text and also give reasoning to explain. For example, if you think that the story is suspenseful, some evidence you might have underlined would be the quote, he had to judge his descent very carefully. If he overshot, he would have little chance of saving the two men. The reason this evidence supports the opinion that the story is suspenseful is because it shows how dangerous the situation was. Now it's time to think about how well you and your partner shared your opinions today. Reflect on your sharing today. How well did you and your partner do sharing your opinions? What are some things that went well? And what problems did you have? How might you avoid those problems the next time you share your opinions? Pause the video here to tell your partner at least one thing that went well and one improvement you might make next time. Now it's time to move on to your book of choice. As you read the book you choose independently, think about the most important ideas. You will be using these important ideas to orally summarize your reading with your partner. You'll also include an opinion of what you read. Remember, oral means to say out loud and to summarize means to tell about the most important parts of the story. Welcome back. Now that you've spent some time with your own book, Please get together with your partner and discuss these prompts. If you were to tell someone in a few sentences what your book is about, what would you say? And would you recommend this book to someone? Why or why not? In this lesson, you reread a narrative nonfiction story called 12 Seconds from Death. You formed opinions about the story. You found evidence in the story to support your opinions. You gave reasons for your opinions. You discussed your opinions respectfully and you read independently for 30 minutes. Great job, fifth graders. It was really great to have you here during these lessons and thank you for your participation. 
It's been so much fun learning with you and don't forget to tune in tomorrow for more exciting lessons from Seattle Public Schools. Bye fifth graders.